Is your HDL cholesterol ratio telling you that a heart attack might be right around the corner for you? Hi, it's Colin, and today I want to go over some of the misconceptions about this HDL ratio number. You see, there's a lot of confusion and misunderstandings when it comes to both calculating and interpreting what the HDL cholesterol ratio is and what it means. Now, you can calculate your ratio in one of two different ways. The first way is to just take your HDL and divide it by your LDL. So the HDL is the numerator in this equation. The second way is to, is to flip it around so that the LDL number is on top. In one sense, it doesn't matter how you calculate it, but as I'm sure you can tell by this formula, how you calculate it totally changes what is and what isn't a good or bad ratio number. So for example, if you take the HDL as the numerator in this formula, you want a higher ratio. And the flip side of that is, if you put the LDL number on top as the numerator, you want a lower ratio. So what's happening is, some people are, are doing calculating this ratio, then they're looking at a chart, and the chart is based on numbers as if the formula was flipped. So you've got to make sure that you're matching up how you calculate it with the proper chart. So what I want you to do right now is, is visit this page right now to see what your ratio means. And better yet, how you can improve this vitally important ratio to reduce your risk of a heart attack or heart disease. So right now go to www.hdl-cholesterol-ratio.com hdlcholesterolratio.com don't forget the dashes go there right now see a chart that that will match it up with either formula let you know your risk and better yet how you can reduce your risk that's all for today take care